Welcome back, everyone. Thanks for tuning into Organic Power once again. I've got another one of my wiring diagrams up on the screen there. This diagram is of the DC bus running from the batteries up through the MCCBs over to the inverters and also up to the MPPTs. So stay tuned. We'll get straight into it and we'll show you what's going on. Our battery bank consists of 16 batteries. Four batteries are joined together with that series circuit there. There's four groups of four. And once that series circuit combines those four batteries, get that 48 volt DC supply off of the positive pole on the left hand side and the negative pole on the right hand side of those banks. The 48 volt circuit that comes out of each of the four battery banks is then all connected in parallel and feeds into the bottom of that first 320 amp MCCB on the left there. From that 320 amp breaker, power can either flow across to the inverters or down from the MPPTs into the battery bank. There's a couple of smaller MPPT units. They also connect into the bus for all of the MPPTs on that first 320 amp breaker. And each of those units is isolated by its own circuit breaker. So the 25060 has a 63 amp two pole DC MCB and the 15035 has a 32 amp two pole DC MCB. So MCB is a miniature circuit breaker and the two pole means it protects the positive and the negative wire. The RS45200 has a maximum string input voltage of 450 volts and has a maximum output current of 200 amps. The 25060 has a maximum array input of 250 volts and a maximum output current of 60 amps. And then the little 15035 has a 150 volt maximum array voltage and can output up to 35 amps. We move on to the MCCB on the right hand side there, that's the inverter isolator. Each of the inverters is connected to the load side of that breaker. There are three separate supplies to each of the inverters. It's not drawn on the diagram like that, but each of the inverters is supplied by a separate cable, positive and negative, from the bottom of that breaker. So there's three positive wires and three negative wires, all exactly the same length, running to each of the three inverters. The lithium iron phosphate batteries we're using are 200 amp hours each. The banks of four have four 200 amp hour batteries. The amp hours don't multiply when you join the series circuit, only the voltage. So the voltage goes up to 48 volts, but the amp hours remain at 200. So over the four banks, we have 800 amp hours at 48 volts. Another thing that's not shown on this wiring diagram is how many cables run between each of the components. From the battery bank to the line side of that first MCCB, there is a parallel connection of two 70 millimeter squared cables. And that uh, at the top of that MCCB, there are two parallel cables up to the MPPT. And from the bottom of the inverter MCCB, like I was saying before, there are three 70 millimeter cables, three for the positive, three for the negative. The same for the battery bank, 
two 70 millimeter positive cables and two 70 millimeter negative cables running into that MCCB. In between the two MCCBs, there are three 70 millimeter square cables. 320 amps is more than enough for what the system needs to output for the house. I've limited the system to that 320 amps just to make things a little bit safer. We'll go down the power shed now. We'll take a look at that battery bank and the units up on the power wall. You can see how everything's set up in the real world. Looks a little bit different to the wiring diagram. Make sure you check out the rest of the channel, either on YouTube, or you can go over to Patreon. Become a member on either of the platforms and you get unlimited access to all of the members only content. Also make sure you like and subscribe to these videos. That way the information gets spread to a larger audience and grows the off-grid community. So thanks for everyone getting on board, subscribing to the channel. And also leave us a comment. Let us know what you'd like to see in future episodes. It's the middle of winter. It was a partially cloudy day. We'll go inside the shed. We'll take a look at how we went. Here we go, here's the battery bank. It's the 16 cells. You can hear the inverters running pretty hard there. This is where the circuit begins, at the battery bank. Got those two lots of 70 mil cables running from this end of the bank up into the bottom of that MCCB. The negative cables pass through the shunt which is in behind this panel here. The positive cables just pass straight through. From that breaker on the left, got those three cables that pass from one to the other. And also those cables that run up to the MPPT. The two smaller MPPTs connecting to that DC bus via these two circuit breakers and joining up here on the 450-200 and once the power feeds over to the inverter isolator we come out the bottom with those three 70 mil cables and one pair goes to each of the three Multi plus units. There's slave one and slave two. This unit here is the master. And then we got the Servo GX there that runs the whole show. Check out some of my other videos. We've got surge protection there. AC and DC, and you would have seen that shot before, the lightning rod for the lightning protection. Very important part of the system. All right guys, thanks for watching. Take it easy. Catch you in the next episode.